jubilation all over Nigeria as federal government shares this good news. Vice President Yemi Osibajo on Friday reiterated the president administration plan to lift 100 million Nigerians out of poverty in 10 years. The vice president, however, said he said this will not be based on the business as usual approved. It approached, but a common sense strategy that would deliver the results President Modibuari promised. Yemi Osibaju said that the government and stakeholders must be very intentional about the objective and how to achieve them. Prof. Yemi Osibaju spoke in Abuja on Friday at the inaugural meeting of the National Poverty Reduction with Growth Strategy Steering Committee held at Presidential Villa. Yemi Osibajo said that the governor would adopt a different and more effective approach in actualizing the objective of extradition and extradicting poverty in Nigeria. He assured that efforts will be made to focus attention on creating opportunities for Nigerians to earn decent livelihoods. Ekiti Governor Kayode Fayemi, the Nigerian Governor Forum Chairman, Bonu Governor Babangana Zulum, and the Nasarawa State Governor Abdullahi Sule attended. The Secretary to the Government, Boss Mustafa, Minister of Agriculture, Muhammad Nanuna, Industry, Trade and Investments, Niji Adebayo, and the Labor and Environment Employment, Chris NDJ, were also present. The Minister of the State for Budget and National Planning, Prince Clem Agba also joined the meeting virtually. Thank you viewers for listening to this news. Can you see? I pray the outcome of this meeting, um, I pray it yield positive results and non-negative results. But this is not the first time they're having this meeting. They're conducting meeting like this. At the end of the day, the meeting <laughs> will not even uh, be positive. It's either they say uh, they adjourn the meeting or there's no, nothing meaningful about the meeting. This is what they do every month. Having a meeting every month, at the end of the day, they don't even say or they even talk about how the security of this country will be tackled. Can you imagine that? Can you imagine? This is what we want to hear, that soon, or this one to hear, want to hear that Boko Haram, the Boko Haram leader and members all over the states, because I know that this Boko Haram that spread all over the state, all over this country, and each state as well. What want to hear that those people have been captured and detained and sentenced to death imprisonment? That is what we want to hear. The last time they said Chikau, they died, and at the end of the day, another Chikau came up. We don't even know how they just, I don't know. We have these leaders, this Boko Haram leader everywhere. That's why I said these people, and, and now, uh, uh, they, we have these people all over uh, uh, the country, all over the states in this country. So let's stop deceiving ourselves. And when they say Chikau uh, 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 killed himself or Chikau died, and people were happy, oh, Shekau is dead. And before we know it, another Shekau eh, eh, came up, or came to, 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 came to lead the Boko Haram members. You can imagine. Came to replace the dead Shekau. Now we have another new Shekau. This has been going on for years now, and nothing anybody has done about it, nothing the federal government has have done about it. 
even President Modibo Hari, that calls himself the leader, the, the, the president of this country, he did not do anything about it. The, this so-called presidency, the one they do, the, these people they call presidency, Femi Adeshino and Gaba Shiu. Any, any little thing they say, presidency says, presidency says that. They are always in charge. They are always advising, they are the advisor to President Mo, advisor of, uh, the advice President Modi they are the advisor instead of the advisor should be recognized. Yemi Osibajo is the vice president, but is not recognized. Because why? Gaba Shiu and Femi Adesino have taken over uh, uh, the presidency. They have taken over. But why is just there as a common flag? It's just there as, okay, is our leader. Let him just be there. But these people that I just mentioned, Femi Adesino and Gaba Shiu, they are the one in charge. They are the one talking on behalf of President Modi Buhari. Or what do you want me to call him? It's President Modi Buhari we know as the president of this country. That's why I'm mentioning his name. But we know that people are saying that President Modi Buhari is dead. And the person there is Jubri. Fine. Even if President Modi Buhari is no, low, is no more there, but the person who voted for as the president, his name is President Modi Buhari. That's why I'm always, I am always emphasize and mention his name. That is all I know. People are saying, hey, Burari, you say Burari, Burari is dead, and you keep mentioning and his name and all of that. I know the reason I'm mentioning his name because Burari is the one we know. Did not, they did not, it was not announced that Burari died and it will be replaced by someone else. No. So basically we know it's Buhari. It's Buhari. So viewers, you have heard it all. What is your take on this? Please, I will urge you. Drop your comments below the comment box. Let us know how you feel about what has just been read to you. So, I will urge you, if you have not subscribed to this channel, subscribe now. And also click on the bell button so that whenever we upload new videos, we also benefit and get notifications from this channel. And please, I would like you to share this news and also click on the like button. You are doing this because you love me and you love this channel. Please kindly do that for me and i love you i love you have a wonderful day bye